uh, Eric Johnson needs to be acknowledged here because he was really the, the creator of the whole concept of the Grand Uh He had a couple of granddaughters who were attending a kindergarten school in Church of Way. And um, he wanted to um, expand the vision of the school. And um, O'Neill Ford had been working on the Texas Instruments buildings. And he was interviewed. And he, I think he was funny, he had never done school before. But uh, he was hired. And um, what I like about the school is it has never been duplicated. It is its own thing. Um, and the major part of the lamplighter uh, spirit is one, the faculty, um, and two, the children, and primarily, I guess, the parent support. It's incredible support that they have for the school. Uh, they, um, Pat Mattingly, a good friend of mine, was head of the school for 26 years, which is kind of hard to imagine what she was. <laughs> and she was great. And she was all supportive of what we were trying to do. And what we were trying to do was to do what only a Ford had done, more or less. Uh, one thing we added was a library. <laughs> And it seemed to me that it was symbolic of any institution that the library be a little unusual, a little different from the language of the rest of the school. So we, we designed the Jerry Johnson Library with that in mind. Unfortunately, we didn't make it big enough. I won't tell you that, I'm sure. Uh, but it's still a pleasure as a counterpoint to the balance of the architecture of the of the complex. I love the fact I heard that when, when it was a kindergarten on Church of Way, uh, the founders had a barn and they had animals. That tradition continues to this day. And I think that's just wonderful. Uh, you people have lots to be proud of. And I congratulate you for everything you've done and are going to do. And, but I particularly want to thank you for this honor. It's a great honor and I really appreciate it. Thank you.